Alright. Ready to start? Yeah. It's lightning outside. I hope nothing gets zapped. Nothing will get zapped. We should have it all surge protected. It's all surge protected. Alright, so you ready? Yes. Part two. Let us begin then. Let us continue our adventure. I'm excited. Me too. You can tell this is totally PlayStation 1 because load times take forever. Yeah. If this was cartridge, it'd be like... Yes. They didn't really... I don't think they really did a good job with uh, CD-ROM entertainment until 2000. But for consoles. What was in 2000? I don't know, just when with the GameCube and the PlayStation 2 and all that jazz. The Dreamcast. The Dreamcast has very short loading times. That's so true. Check my wavy walk. Did we buy everything we needed? Yep, we got okay. all we could afford. We got you a shield. We got me a cuff or whatever for my... Oh, yeah, that's right. I got you the hand. <laughs> I, we didn't equip those things, did we? Better than none. One is way better than none. Let's see if we hit harder. Well, we raised our defense, so... <laughs> oh, we yeah. might be able to be hit hey, harder. Hey, it's the same slime. If you leave, it resets. Which means that we can keep... Uh, I was almost kind of worried that it was going to be... Like Dark Alliance? Yes, where, where you, there's enemies and once they're dead they're dead that is you know i've never heard anyone complain about that before but it is true dark alliance i think would actually be way better if it spawned creatures mm -hmm. because Just cause you can't grow as much as you want i know once you get to a certain level well i think the way they did it because it's based on dungeons and dragons um yeah sorry i should have taken my turn Go keep talking. Okay. Is that Dungeons and Dragons? Once you get to level twenty, you max out and you can't get any higher. Yeah. Unless you like play house rules. Mm -hmm. And so, since that game is based off of Dungeons and Dragons, they try make it on purpose that you can't really get higher up to. You can't max out your character. Mm -hmm. I think the highest I've ever gotten my character in that game was like fifteen. Really. That's after that's when you kill like everything. Yeah. This game, however, I have no idea what's ahead of us. I've never played anything in the Lunar Series. Oh, I played Lunar... You played the Game Boy one. I played the Game Boy one, which is actually a horrible remake of this game. Because it was done by Ubisoft, and they just screwed it all up. The translation was horrible. Which is sad, because I remember we bought it in Chicago on our honeymoon. I know. I totally should have gotten it. And we were excited. I should have not I bought know. that. I should have bought Fire Emblem. It was $26 back then. <laughs> that is my biggest regret on our honeymoon, is that I did not pick up a copy of Fire Emblem at Chicago. I'm glad that's our only regret on our honeymoon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I found, I mean, people watching this video are going to be like, what? You found Fire Emblem for $26? Yeah. He did. Shoot, they had it for $26. And I didn't get it because I thought it was going to be... It was going to go uh, down like every other old game. Yeah. Every other game. Yeah. No, it's going up and yeah. up and now, up and up. Now if you find it for $80, you did, you're doing good. It used to, and then I kept thinking, oh, it's not going to keep rising, but it keeps going up in popularity. In demand. It's the only GameCube game I'm missing from my collection. I know it. Someday, maybe our viewers could donate it to us. Donate us their copy. Well, see, I grew up playing it as a kid, and then Brian got rid of it because he went through this phase where... <gasps> Look! We just totally missed that. We got an herb! How did we miss that? I don't know. We were having so much fun. We'll try again next time. You, you keep walking. I didn't know what you wanted. I like it how you're doing a good job. You found something I didn't find. There's that sparkly guy. There's two of them. He's easy. Ah, I gotta I, I gotta heal. Uh, right, Ramus. <laughs> Let's go down some steps. Well, if you want to save your MP, you can eat a herb. You might. 
That's one of the things I liked about our Odyssey is that even though it was kind of like ridiculous, almost every battle you leveled. Yeah. <laughs> it was really nice. Kind of <laughs> they really cool. made, they really ramped up how much experience points you got for a battle. And they did that to make the game faster, which I appreciate because the dungeons are very, very slow. So, but I really enjoyed Albert Odyssey because really all Albert Odyssey focused on was story and had a good story. I can afford a sword. Well, we're not hurt that bad, so we can just keep going until when we get like. When I'm out of MP and you're out of MP. Yeah, then we might want to head back. Then we'll head back, which is nice. There's not random battles on the way back. I we know. Killed things, so you're not gonna die. On I'm way so time. grateful. Anytime an RPG gets rid of random encounters. Random encounters get so old. Mm -hmm. And I really like it when creatures run away from you. Yes, um, when you're when strong. You're, when you're strong. <laughs> the only two games that I know that do that is Persona 3, and then, since that's the only Persona I've played, and then um, Jake pointed out Earthbound does that, which is true. When you get really powerful, creatures run away from you in Earthbound. Yeah. Which makes sense. Like, it why does. would you want to waste your time battling creatures that are only going to give you one experience points when it requires five thousand experience points to level? Exactly. You know, that's. Uh huh. Kill that fly. Slime, isn't that nice? You time. learned something. You learned a new spell. Oh, I can't wait to use it. Check it out. We, we skipped through it too fast, but you learned I know, something. I we were just so excited. Uh, yeah, what is that? Purity Recover song. condition. Maybe if you're sleeping or no, petrified. No. Save it now, because that's what's pure. Well, there's a gorilla over here. You want to go for him? Uh, yeah, not two. at least we can at least hit him once. We try oh, there's him? not two. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hyper gorilla. You got Tempest or Tim what was it? Let's see. Oh, temptation, temptation song. Hypnotize. <gasps> Wonder what that sounds like. Temptation. Temptation. We've been here. Okay. Whoa. Let's just go. Let's check it out. <gasps> what, what is, is this it? place? It's so cold, but so beautiful. <laughs> ah! You're What's boring. happening? <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. Something's up there. Alex? Something big. What do you guys expect? It's we came to the white dragon cave. I know. What in the world? American voice actor for that. That is pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> sure, this isn't a bad guy since he's in the opening cutscene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We just wanted something to do, really. <laughs> really, we just wanted something to do, but thanks for thinking so highly of us. 
<laughs> I feel like a hero and I haven't even beaten the game. I know. Maybe we did beat the game. <laughs> this is a pretty cool background though. Yeah. I'm totally digging the blue and the little lights. I agree. Hey Alex, did you hear that? He called us adventurers. This old dragon is obviously very wise. <laughs> My name is Alex. I'm honored to meet you, Quark. I'm Noel. Nice to meet you. I'm, 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 uh, uh, Linus. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mommy, ah. Uh. My name is Lena. We came here from Berg to meet you, sir. And perhaps <laughs> you were destined to meet in my lair. <laughs> <laughs> you appear somehow very familiar to me. Are, are you speaking to me? Yes, child. I sense that our souls <laughs> are intertwined in some ancient manner. <laughs> Alas, it may be only that age. <laughs> And isolation have taken their toll. <laughs> He's a very old dragon. <laughs> <laughs> but the feeling is so. Yeah, yeah. We'll walk down memory lane some other time. Right now we need... Oh, how rude. I know, he's really rude. No, what are you trying to do? Get us killed? Just hush and leave the negotiating to me. All hail Quark, the mighty white dragon. For what purpose do you beseech me, little boy? Yeah! I am mighty Quark. We are here to take, I mean, we are here to uh, find a legendary dragon diamond. I mean, uh, could you please give us a dragon diamond? So dangerous a course to secure a dragon diamond. I'm beginning to regret my course myself. Um, please don't chop us to bits. Why is it you humans prize those things so much? Don't you know they're made from my sh. Uh, what's the use? I think Ramus <laughs> has the right idea, Alex. We should go. This game just swore. <laughs> <laughs> if you want my diamond so badly, children, you must accomplish but one task. Retrieve the dragon ring found deep within this cave and return it to me and I shall give you the diamond. Is that it? I'm surprised you aren't... <laughs> handing out nuggets all day. On the contrary, to obtain the ring, you must pass through the dragon trial. Last to succeed was a headstrong youth named Dine. Or Dean. Dine. And it's Dine. Unless you use the strength of your body and your mind as Dine did. The ring shall forever remain beyond your grasp. I like your dragon voice. <laughs> he's trying just, to sound like the guy. He's I know, like, I like it. And he's like, <laughs> We'll have to go back and watch that video again. <laughs> he's just trying to scare us, Alex. Let's pass this trial and get our diamond. Wait, children, before you begin. I shall restore you all full strength. You'll need it. Well, if we would have known that was going to happen. You may begin, children. Your future now rests squarely in your own diminutive hands. Okay. He's got a funny looking face. He is. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the dragon trial is. 
Oh, hey boy, wait, no Alex. It is Alex, is it not? I'll be waiting for you to return as a, a true adventurer. Well, apparently there's another door somewhere. Well, that was fun. Oh, oh. It opened up right here. It did. Every time we talk, the red thing bounces. Yes, it does. Let's go. <laughs> hey, is that a secret? Finally! Goodness. Is he gonna break the other one? I hope not. Can we get it there? Yeah. We just passed the dragon's test. Yeah. Now what? Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did need him. I want that treasure. Come here, Come gorilla. On. Come here, great bambino. Dang it. There we go. Finally. After like a million tries. A starlight. That's interesting. P. <sighs> Seriously. Is that worth it? Look at all it these could, ice cubes. It could be a weapon in there. You don't really know. Come on, monkey. Monkey. At least it's a little more open. Right. You know how these stupid walls were to hit on. There's a rock for it. <laughs> there. That was way easier. Yeah, so money. Silver, I just bought my sword right there. Yeah, so there was a sword in there. Oh, there's more. Monkey. Great Bambino. Oh, yes. It's too late. Oh, finally. It's never too late. Goodness. Never too late. Let's be positive. Oh, well, we got the dragon ring. See? It's never too late. Yes, it's dragon wave. Coop the dragon. Come on, Alex. Let's go back to the quirk. Yep, I definitely would have gotten frustrated and not gotten quirk his dragon ring. That was our test, by the way. That was our test, and I failed it because I was so impatient and angry. That was a hard test because it was so annoying. <sighs> I guess the test of a true hero is can you. are you patient enough to put up with these baboons? The al great albinos? And the great white albinos. There's a staircase there. You want to steer? Because you can just as well as me. No. Ow. What was that for? You needed it. Managed to complete the try. <laughs> Here is your reward, brave adventurers. We got a dragon's diamond. Yay, we did it! What do you mean, we? I remember you doing is searching our backpacks for cheese and crackers. This is but the first small step of your long adventure, young Alex. The first. And yes, the time is upon us, and more importantly, Alex, you have the green eyes. When last I gazed upon eyes like yours, it was the shining face of dying I beheld. The Dragon Master? <laughs> I look he mastered something. Why do you act so surprised? Anyone can look into your eyes, can see it, Alex. The desire to become a Dragon Master burns within your very soul. Da -da. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Cross over to the mainland and seek out your destiny. Search for my brother's red, blue, and black. <laughs> red, blue, and black. <laughs> well, there's the red dragon. And what color they are? The black. <laughs> well, I know. I think the white dragon's so cool because he's gray. I wonder if the blue dragon's like 
Azure, red dragons like scarlet. Mm. Black dragons like. Negro? Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Overcome their trials and claim the reward. Return here when you earn the prize of manhood. In other words, I have to get circumcised. <laughs> Or you could get married. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> or both. <laughs> a new dragon master will be born into the world. Yeah, see, you have to get married. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a positive outlook on life, Shana. Did you hear that? <gasps> Alex. <laughs> Your success is not guaranteed, young one, so remain vigilant. I shall pray for your return. Before your long journey into unknown fates, you should spend one last night with those you love. One more night with each other. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Give me just one night. Uno, Give me just one night. Uno notice. <gasps> Yeah, I'll let you steer. <laughs> in the in the book in the in the movie, not in the books. In the books, Aragorn, there's no like romantic thing between. Oh, we're we going the right way. I hope so. I hope so too. Yes! Yeah. No. <laughs> we got two things to get through. <laughs> we're getting some weather. <laughs> I do like the logo, it's very pretty. This definitely looks like a crown jewel. Get your sword and then that'll be it. This will be the this end. This diamond's gonna make us rich. I can almost taste money we're getting gonna get. Alex, can we go to a a Althena. Althena's statue? All that adventuring really wore me out. That dragon just healed us. Yeah. I agree and all. The diamond can wait a little while. What? Wait to go to the My statue. sword can't. Right. Why does everyone want to go to the statue? That was like a really like uninspired writing script. We have to pray to it. We're all uh, tired, so I let's bet. go to the statue. Oh, I wonder what that said. I'm sorry. I just bet it was really sword. funny. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll make up a joke. Uh man, I touched that statue and I healed. Uh, I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All my weapons are simple. That's the funniest joke I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, sell you anything you saw. Okay, get your sword. Thank you. And you can sell your dagger. Equip. Not for you. Uh, we'll give him a sword. Give him a sword. Yeah, 41. Mm -hmm. Now let's sell our dagger. Heavy laden. Okay, this is the end of our second video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for Thank watching. And Jake, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun for you. Jake, you're our biggest fan. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye.